The Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine now has full FDA approval, but it's only for people 16 years old and older. Today's announcement comes as the Ohio Department of Health says severe cases of COVID-19 are rising in children. The approval is bringing in a renewed hope now that very soon a vaccine will also be available for those under 12. Reporter Marielle Carbone spoke to health experts today and has more on a potential timeline. You know, Throughout the pandemic, the Carla shots. and Sean Nason have Same been careful thing. because it's for our son. He has autism. Their son, Colby, is just six, so he isn't eligible to get vaccinated yet. For him to get hit with something like COVID or for either one of us mm -hmm. have the disease and then have to be hospitalized, it would be extremely traumatic for him. But today's news, the FDA giving full approval to the Pfizer vaccine for ages 16 and up is bringing them hope. I'm hopeful that this will help speed the process for the younger kids. And health experts say it could happen soon. We are very optimistic that an approval for children between 5 and 12 will, will be coming in the very near future. An exact timeline is unclear, but Dr. Bruce Vanderhoff with the Ohio Department of Health says the FDA it will likely begin with emergency use authorization and have that followed after a period of time. That's the same process the Pfizer vaccine went through for ages 16 and up and is currently undergoing for the 12 to 15 age bracket. To the FDA's credit, that they continue to move through a um, thoughtful, deliberate, and careful process. The timing of today's approval comes at a crucial moment. Both Vanderhoff and Manning Courtney say Ohio Children's Hospitals are seeing an unseasonable uptick in respiratory illnesses in children. Add in the increase of COVID cases and doctors fear capacity could be an issue in the future. We're good now but we can't promise you that we'll be that we'll stay good and we can't just hope am i hopeful yes i'm very hopeful um but i'm cautiously optimistic so the message get vaccinated if you're eligible and if not wear a mask cincinnati children's is also asking that if your child is sick but it's not an emergency to take them to your primary care doctor not the hospital to help with overcrowding in the waiting rooms reporting in Coryville, i'm marielle carbone wcpo 9 news